Did you know it's like actually a biological thing of why Americans are louder? Explain. I think it's like something about the way that our larynx is formed over time that makes our voices project more. So in 200 some odd years, Americans evolved like stronger larynxes? Huh. I'm going to look into that. Yeah. Okay. It could be some Tumblr bullshit. But it, it feels like bullshit, but it maybe not. I think I saw it on Vsauce. Yeah. Or if not if not biological, there's definitely probably like the fact that there's more space in America. So we had to learn to be louder. So like so you're further apart, like you know what I mean? Like Americans are very much yeah. like dude, fucking we have our our, our comfortable distance is yeah. a lot more. This is the closest I've ever been to him. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. When the camera's on, it's all a big bit of fun On the big red shutter club On the big red shutter club <laughs> Like, I mean, and because we have so much more yeah. area Like here, England, what, England's what, the size of California? And then, it's like, the size of New York Yeah Right, so then you got all these people cramped in here, so they have to be comfortable with. So I guess you could, I don't know. Yeah, in Texas, you can drive for twelve hours and still be in Texas. Yeah, and yeah. So welcome back to the. Can you tell that we're both American edition? <laughs> Wait, what gives it away the most? <laughs> I think it might be the shirt. Shirt, yeah, yeah. Americans don't get this. I'm uh, sorry, British people don't get this. Yeah. This is a very American. Yeah. We put it in the comments if you understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, hello and welcome back to the Red Shutter Club. I am here today with Sush. Hello. How you doing, Sush? I'm well. Well. Very well. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. So, what's up, man? What are you up to? Why are you why are you here? What are you or I'll ask you what everybody asks me. What are you doing, eh? In general in England. Yeah. Oh. Well, I married a scouse bird. That's it. Now I'm here. That's it. Yeah, I'm living <laughs> with her. So where are you from originally? Born and raised in Chicago. Um, went to university and spent most of my adult life in California. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is the voice real? That California sort of... Mine? Oh. Or, no, I mean like just the the. No, nah, it depends on who you're talking to. Yeah. Like, there are some people where it's like it's absolutely random. There's some people where it's just like, dude, stop fucking talking like that, dude. Like that's not how you sound. Yeah. And the funny thing is, the people that sound extra California, they're not actually from California. Yeah. They're from like Connecticut. Yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> oh god, I feel like that's how it goes. I know I met this American guy in um in the Monday Club once, and he like. Had it, he was using his his passport as a coaster first, <laughs> and then he put on like an English accent. And he was like, "Oh yeah, I've been here for so long. I've been here for ages." And he'd been here for like five weeks. And I was like, "Dude, what are you doing? I've been here for five years." Yeah, and you actually have a really good Scouse accent. Well, you know that. Yeah, that's because as soon as I got home. My entire family was like, do the accent, do the accent, do yeah. the accent. So mine's get mine's getting there. We're getting there. Still That's not. Right. Take, I'm, a, I'm still young. Two You've years. only been here I've for only two, been here two yeah. years. Two years this month. This month. Well, yeah. it took me two years to just understand the accent. So you know, you're on. You're it's on course. still too. Like if it's a, the bar is loud and the people are are drunk, dude. Sometimes I'm like three, two, three times I'm asking them to repeat okay. themselves, and then if I don't get it after the third time, I just do the uh, con- yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like um, I haven't been going to as many open mics, so I find that I like forget how to understand. I fr- the translation isn't switched on in my brain. Yeah, if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, we're not we're not here to talk about you know scousers or Californians, so uh, we're here to talk about music. So tell us a bit about your music here. My music, uh, I suppose we could start with like what 
I why start why I started playing music, yeah. and that was mostly just because I. That um, was a better way to word that. I I apologize. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, my parents uh, introduced me to like all the all the good seventies old school rock yeah. bands, mostly mostly English. Uh, I mean, I grew up with Zeppelin, Sabbath. Yeah. Um, ACDC. They're from Australia, but whatever. Um, Hendrix, like all that stuff. You know, I started playing guitar because I because of the Jimmys. Yeah. Page Hendrix. Mm-hmm. All those guys. All the Jimmys. All the Jimmys. Um. Yeah, but then I I moved on to to thrash metal and punk, and I, I was in a handful of thrash metal and punk bands in California during my college days. Yeah. Uh, and then I moved out here. Uh, by my uh, like by myself musically because like every obviously I moved here but even before that all my uh all the people I played music with they either became they either had a family and or got really ridiculously big you told me about this yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. crazy big yeah. so now I'm like oh fuck I'm on my own and started playing my own, my own original stuff mm-hmm. with an acoustic guitar and uh, it kind of blends. Everything that I like, which is quite a lot. Yeah. I think I just did a post this morning on my Instagram page, and it was like, because it said I did at Hemingway's last mm, couple weeks ago. <laughs> and it is a pirate punk song followed by a Disney song followed by like a 90s like alternative cover. I so you did their necessities. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's not it. That's not it. I do a lot. I do all the Disney songs. I love Disney songs. So, oh, yeah, it's right. weird. Thrash metal meets but I really like my my favorite guitarists are like jazz guitarists like Django Reinhardt and Wes Montgomery. Like so you name it, but I also love country. So it's my music's at the, the risk of sounding like a douchey like oh, I, I'm I'm my own genre. I actually listen to my songs. I'm like, I can't figure out like what what this is. I would agree with that because you've got like, you can definitely hear the punk in how you play, but there's a yeah. twang to your voice, but it's not country. It's far from country. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Actually, that's a thank you for saying that. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not like straight up country either. Yeah. It's 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 no. weird. It's very hard to identify like what it is. Yeah. So. I don't. I don't think I could now that you ask. Yeah, like, and I, I tried to too because, like, um, when I was, uh, like, my first single that I released, you know, like when you submit it to a distributor, they're like, "What genre are you?" And I had to think about it. Unknown. Like, and I was like, "Dude, I, I can't." I honestly thought about. It. I was like, "I can't." Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing with uh, when you're by yourself and you have an acoustic guitar. A lot of people assume that it's just. You know, yeah, like folk, indie folk, yeah, it's very not. true. Like, uh, I, uh, I went to uh, Lottie at the Arts Bar had like an introducing night. Or she's something. awesome, by the way. Oh, she's great. Yeah, I went, I went to one of their open mics the first time for yeah. like, and it was, it was great. Shout out Lottie. Yeah, I went, and she's like, "Oh, it's a folk night because you're like a folk musician," and I was like, "Am I?" Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. If it's me and an acoustic guitar doing cowboy chords, I guess. Yeah. My my lack of genre is more from my inability to play anything other than basic blues and cowboy chords. Yeah. Your lack of genre is from creativity. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. So how do you find like the Liverpool music scene compared to California then? Um first of all there is one if that's i, I know that sounds kind of brutal like no, no i, I mean, mean like yeah, yeah. so like and at the grassroots level i've never seen anything like what liverpool has yeah um i mean all my years living in california i mean i toured with punk bands and i didn't really do what i'm doing now mm-hmm. but at the same time i you know i was always on the i kept kept my ear to the ground for like oh it's, if, it, if there was music i was going to gravitate towards it right yeah and um really the the Liverpool grassroots scene is kind of unparalleled. Like yeah. in California, it's there's nothing. Like and the kind of music that's very popular, oh, in California right now, it's it's not. It's it's like EDM and Peckerwood yeah. reggae. Yeah. It's so it's yeah different. And also there is a scene. Like in California, you either be you just got to be straight up successful, like working musician, really, or you're not doing it at all. Like you can't really juggle. You can't really juggle a, a a pursuit in music and try to ha- and try to pay the bills at the same time. 
that's like almost impossible in California. Whereas wow. here and here you can do it. And I, we, you not, you, you, you can attest to this there. I mean, there are actually a lot of musicians here. They, they, they do really well for themselves just yeah. playing music. It's great. And, yeah, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. but there are, all, there are also people here that, you know, they just have a regular job, but then they can also play music on the side or pursue it. And it's just, yeah, good job. Yeah. You can't do that in California with the, the cost of living and, and no. That's why you get an American job on Liverpool cost of living. Yeah. As we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. But um yeah, it's uh Liverpool definitely is a scene like no other. Um and we've heard that from a lot of different people. I know that that has caused a few people to want to move here. A few musicians like that Chris Jamnus. Yeah, okay. Desperately wants to move here because of the scene. Yeah, that's yeah. So overall, awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially for someone for, like me, who's kind of looking, who looks for a lot of other different type of stuff, it, it can sometimes be a bit homogenous. Yeah. Um, in terms of like what's what a lot of people are doing or what people want, but it's still very like the it's it's there, like and you can do it. Fair, fair. You know what I, I mean? Yeah. So like it's it's nothing to get frustrated with. It's just something, and and you could probably argue. Same thing at any any place that has like a um a hub, there is always going to yeah. be like a broad like th- genre that people gravitate towards. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure, if you move to Nashville, it would be this, yeah. something else, yeah. right? If you moved to Austin, Texas, or New York, right? Mm-hmm. It would. I'm sure it would be. It's not. That's that aspect is not specific to Liverpool. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, and it, I feel like there's a few different genres around here that kind of. Rain supreme. Rain supreme. That's a, I was yeah. perfect way of saying it. Yeah. <laughs> One is that like almost DJ guitar playing that you hear Yo. like downstairs. Yeah. Where it's like yeah. the same four chords, but it's m- like mashing every song together possible. Yeah, and the strumming pattern is exactly the same. It's the too. same. It's just and it's usually loud, a, a, fast. and it's usually accompanied by a, a out of time a, stop a, pedal. No, uh, the stop the pedal. Yeah. 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 Which is a feat in itself. I cannot play like that. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to learn how to play like to drum, like at least with yeah. my heel or something. But um, I, I can't I'm even that play that fast. That. Yeah, let yeah. alone incorporporating a. Yeah, song. those guys, those guys got it, and the fact that they can just go for like for a long time, it's it's impressive. But those yeah. guys are, just, I mean, they've been, they do it. Yeah, but there's that, and then there's you get at the quieter places. I feel like with covers, it's either '60s stuff. Or, like, not super, super mainstream, but still mainstream. So, like, the I hear Season of the Sticks all the time. Yeah. Or you get, like, your, your Britney Spears. Who, and then, like, I don't hear as much with, like, you don't hear, like, Ariana Grande or, like, super, super modern pop. Cause, I don't know. It sounds biased, but, dude, 90s pop, man. It's yeah, It's, like, it's kind of hard to get away. It, like, even, yeah. like, even... Like the the younger kids nowadays are yeah. are are listening to '90s pop. That's what it seems like. Mm-hmm. Like I want for good reason. Yeah, I mean '90s pop was pretty pretty awesome. Yeah. All <laughs> '90s. Yeah. Did I tell you? Yeah. I got Green Day tickets for fifty euros in Milan this summer. Damn. In Italy, in Italia. Yeah. Very cool. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's. Uh, you hear a lot of types but i think that definitely there's not like a lot of super poppy stuff not a lot of super pop no yeah and yeah, like on the yeah so if you're going especially to like more uh more intimate like uh, college especially the college kids yeah which i'm which i'm kind of happy to see that you know because yeah. you don't I mean yeah. pop is yeah I, mean, I hear it on the radio i don't want to hear it in a, in a bar in the bar. Like, yeah. You've got some funny songs. Yeah. <laughs> you, you do. Thank you. <laughs> so um, is there a difference in how you go about writing your silly songs to how you write your more like, if, if we want to be cheesy, we can say heartfelt. Yeah, I definitely have more um, <clears throat> like somber and deeper, deeper songs. Yeah. But then I also have just the songs that just make you just, just eat shit and grin. Yeah, that one. I got one about getting too drunk and having to go home. And yeah, I'll, uh, 
you mm-hmm. name it. Yeah. I think the comedic aspects, well, because like one of the punk bands I was in, they they wrote similar similar lyrical yeah. content. Um, and I I still cover a few quite a few of their songs. Um, but actually, I really like um stand up comedy. Yeah. Like if I wasn't a musician, I think I would try to be a stand up comedian. But we do have a brick wall and a microphone here. No, nah, yeah. The thing is though, like I'm, I'm playing music, no problem, but like the thought of like Doing what those guys do. I think comedians are just amazing. Oh, and yeah. like, I really Fearless. like, yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's one thing when you get up and play a song and you fuck mm-hmm. up a few chords, you know, like you can, you can recover, but like bombing as a comedian is like, dude, I, that's a whole nother level of, you don't oh, have an man, instrument to hide behind. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also um, like, um, I think that us being Americans, I always get like, ah, oh, that American human, ah, like it's inferior to a lot of people here. Or what it's is? American humor. They're not wrong necessarily. That's one of the things I did notice, especially, well, I think East Coast is a bit different, but West Coast, most people have no sense of humor. <laughs> it's, it's awful. That's one of the things I like about Liverpool a lot is that this, the, the people here are... Man, they're faster. Oh, yeah. oh, I love it. I I love it. So yeah, I can't I can't knock them for for looking down mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. Although I will say, like, I think the East Coast, like New York, Boston, Jersey, like, just where, where there people just grow up with, like, bad weather and ball breaking. Yeah. Hilarious people. Yeah. Right. Well, I think it's like um, I always. Uh, I have a, an uncle. My uncle Paul was always so funny. Yeah. He was like the funniest guy in the room usually. Yeah. And then I moved here and I started to recognize his humor. And I think yeah. it came from him living in Ireland yeah. for a while. And he like picked it up. So yeah. he was the funniest guy in yeah. any American room. Yeah, I believe Because it. he yeah. just picked up a little bit of it. Yeah. You know? But anyway, yeah. So like, um, yeah, I like comedy. And if I, so... I started writing down bits yeah. just because I was like, oh, maybe I'll try it out. And this was before I actually started writing music. Yeah. And then eventually I was like, oh, I don't think I want to do that. But I feel like this could fit into a song. So I basically turned certain comic bits into songs. That's and that's kind of where it kind of where it came from. My my love of stand up comedy, mm-hmm. but my fear of doing it. So I just thought, let's put it into a song yeah. a little easier. Oh, it does seem terrible. Yeah, it's yeah, still terrifying. Still might try it one of these days. I got a I got a friend that's actually doing that. He 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 made the leap from musician to stand up comedian. He's yeah. done really well. Um, I only know people that have gone the other way. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it ain't easy. No. Yeah. It was a uh, Jono of Austerity Dogs is the main one that comes to mind because mm. he lost his job in COVID. So him and his roommate started like doing songs. Yeah. Just out of their bedroom. Yeah. And s- some of them are like really deep and political, but yeah. it's also like kind of taking a piss at the same time. Yeah, I like I, I like that though. I like it where you can. Uh, I like the idea of being able to you know take the piss out of something, at, like but like to to care about something, but also kind of like yeah, and, of course. Uh, you know, because I have a, a few songs that are very very that are very politically charged. Um, but they come across in a more kind of like jock. It's more jocular. It's kind of yeah. you know. It's a little bit more. Yeah. Do we dare go into two, into uh, politics with two Americans in the room? Can do. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I know we've had a few conversations about like gigging and trying to find a, I guess a path. Here in the music scene, while being not Scouse. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. There's, there's that. I mean, for me, this has just been just a new journey for me altogether. Yeah. Like what I'm doing here, I never did any anything like yeah. that in the states. Like in the states, I was just just a lead guitarist, and I just kind of went, "You shred here, all right, cool." And that's it. All right, Binger amp. There's your ex cool. on the stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so what I'm doing here is different. So it's it's been you know like like navigating all these yeah foreign waters but yeah then obviously being an outsider yeah. has had a, like a not a not, it's just different it's a little bit different and i think that um 
when when we first say that it sounds like oh they don't want us because we're American. That's not what that's not what we mean. I think a big part of it is not having all those connections over here because we're we're starting completely fresh. Some people do have connections over here, obviously, but I just think uh, I'm not as charming as a lot of scousers too. Like they know how to go in to they know how to walk into. Did you a really bar. just call scousers charming? Are you sure that's the first? well? Yeah, I mean, like they have. Cause I mean, like, cause they they can they can they've got the there's like obviously the culture's the same and the language the, just the lingo and like they can I th- I think they can just walk into a bar a lot of yeah. a lot of them can just walk into a bar and just just connect right away I think it's yeah. I think it's harder for us yeah. to connect I think there is a kind of a cultural separation 100%. that's a, 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 that's a bit difficult to overcome yeah um, but obviously you know. Whatever, and I've, I've found that, that working with people as well, because what I expect is normal and my like reactions with business situations. And this goes not well towards the Liverpool John Moore's business degrees. But my my instincts usually aren't quite right here or like what I expect isn't quite right because I grew up in America and that's where I have I learned a lot. So when I'm working with people, I'm like, oh, or with my band, I have to have very blatant conversations of if I'm doing something weird, I need you to tell me, please, because I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think that was pretty. Yeah. Pretty, pretty tame. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because, um, yeah, it's just one of those. It's just another thing we have to overcome. Yeah. It's, um, but yeah, it's definitely. Yeah. We were both shitting ourselves over how that was. <laughs> Yeah, like we don't want to like shit on anyone. I don't we're just we're just we're just saying, yo, it's it's fucking hard. <laughs> Is there anything um particular you want me to bring up before we wrap it up? Do we want to talk about how my grandmother fancies you? I uh, yeah, the older ladies, the older ladies love me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Sush was a uh, model for me for our our draft five T shirts. And my grandmother said, does he come with the shirt? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so what sort of projects do you have coming up? Uh, I'm in a I'm in a hardcore punk band, which I'm really excited about. I don't know. There's probably everyone that's watching this probably doesn't care, but I'm really excited about it. Uh, I found these these two people. Uh, it's a, a, a bassist and a drummer that just wanted to uh, start playing music. They're a little bit older. They're uh, they're older than me. Um, and their their kids are out of the house and they're like yeah we want to we just want to play really yeah. aggressive stuff and they they posted something on instagram and i responded right away and it's been we've been working together for about six to eight weeks now and it's going really well nice. so like uh be on the lookout if they're called we're called noxus with like two s's n-o-x-u-s-s mm-hmm. it's um like if you really like like old school hardcore punk. I don't know if anyone out there that's listening to this, if you like Bad Brains, if you like Minor Threat, um, Agnostic Front, uh, Discharge, uh, all those old school, th- just in your face of punk, that's what we are. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Um, we've got about... We got about a 10, 15 minute set right now, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for, for, for heavy music, it's yeah. it's a lot. Like 10, 10 minutes feels like 30. Um, so yeah, got that. And then uh my original stuff, I found uh I found a drummer. Uh and we we're, we're That's about the to hardest part. I know. Well now we're looking for a bassist. So I don't know if there's any bassists out there who is not looking for a drummer or a bassist, but yeah, so like all the songs that I've been doing on my own, um, I'm kind of starting to form a band with that, yeah. which I'm also really excited about. The jump that drummer and I are really gelling as well. So yeah, yeah. So two 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 projects in the pipeline. Lovely. Well, I think that will head off to our couch concert. Do you know what you're going to be playing for us? Uh, one two songs. One one what? song. One song. Uh, yeah. Let, yeah, let's do California. Yeah, because that's the that's the release. I like that one. Cool. I like that one. Might take me a few shots because that song's really out. That oh. solo's really hard. That's so. fine. All right. Got two jobs. over human turds Sunny all year in the beach 
shade fall Instead I'm stepping over bumps, spending hours in the car I make six figures but got three roommates Cocktails cost more than minimum wage Beautiful lakes and mountains near song thank you it's very catchy <laughs> yeah it is thank you oh yeah i so, like it because it's um i mean even though it's about specifically california obviously yeah. i think with what a lot of people are going through nowadays with especially with cost of living and whatnot yeah. it's pretty relatable to yeah. anyone going through that yeah. so it's for more than just the expats yeah yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything you want to plug before we get going? I know you said that song's coming out. Oh yeah. Um I mean, I just released like my debut single, Eat Shit and Grin is still out, still pretty fresh. So yeah, yeah plug away at that. Eat shit and grin. It's on, it's out everywhere. Um the shit is spelled with the I and the shit is spelled with an up to upside down exclamation park. So Ooh, like pink. Uh ex uh, so it's S H exclamation point yeah. t that's how pink does it 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I love her. Yeah. She's a badass. She is a badass. Um. Yeah. So if you're searching that, that, um, hopefully that helps. And then California is coming out April 23rd, which should be, if I did the math right, two days from now. Yeah. Because so it's definitely be on the lookout. March 20th. Yeah. So that song you just heard uh, will be out everywhere. Yeah. So. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us, Sush. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great. Thank you, and thank you for tuning in. This is life in California. Paradise the can.